Hello everyone! Once again, good day po sa ating lahat. It's Megan Teacher Koy and welcome to Easy Math Tutorial. And for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin yung Grade 8 Mathematics Quarter 2 Module 5. At ang ating topic ay Graphing Linear Functions and Problems Involving Linear Functions. Okay, pero bago pong lahat, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon para lagi pa kayong updated sa lahat ng mga bagong videos po natin. Okay, so for our learning competencies, by the way, I'm using the uh, Bohol Division na module. Ito po yung binigay dito sa Bohol Division po natin. So our learning competencies, we have here the learner, graphs and illustrates a linear function and its domain range, table of values, intercepts and a slope, and the learner solves problems involving linear function. And our objectives at the end of the lesson, you're expected to graph linear function using two points of the line and x and y intercept, slope and one point and slope and y intercept and solve word problems involving linear function. So for our lesson one, we have here graphing linear functions with any two points and with x and y intercepts. So, kung naalala nyo po yung how to graph a linear equation, di ba? using two points. So, ganun din po yung ating gagawin. So, one method of graphing linear equation is using two points. In geometry, you learn that two points determine a line. Since the graph of a line, since the graph of a linear equation is a line, thus two points are enough to draw a graph of a linear function. So, we have here the example. Graph the function y is equal to 2x plus 1. Then, our two points or the assigned point or assigned value of x is 0 and 1. So, what we're going to do here is we'll substitute this one sa ating equation. So, y is equal to x is, is, is equal to 2x plus 1. So, when x is equal to 0, magiging ganito po siya. Diba? y is equal to x plus 1. x is 0. 2 times 0, that is 0. Plus 1, the result is 1. So, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to positive 1. And when x is equal to positive 1, substitute natin dito, magiging 2 times 1 plus 1. Simplify, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So therefore, y is equal to 3. Diba? When s is equal to positive 1, y is equal to positive 3. When we, then we have now our ordered pairs. The first ordered pair is 0 and 1. The second one is positive 1 and 3. Then we can now graph this one's ating Cartesian plane. Diba? Ito po yung ating Cartesian plane. Then, okay, when s is equal to 0, y is positive 1. When x is equal to positive 1, x, uh, y is equal to positive 3. Diba? When x is equal to positive 1, y is equal to positive 3. So, this is now our graph. So, this is how to graph a linear function or linear equation using two points. Diba? If you have two values of x, so, makakuha po kayo ng two values ni y. Then, meron po kayong dalawang ordered pairs. Then, you can now graph it sa ating Cartesian plane. So, we have here, the next is graphing linear function using x-intercept and y-intercept. So, x-intercept is the abscissa of the coordinates of the points in which graph intersects the x-axis. It is a point in the graph where y is equal to 0. Okay, example, if you're given a is equal to 5 as your x-intercept, then you will have the point 5 and 0. Okay, what if our x-intercept is 5? So, therefore, our y is 0. Diba? Same also with the y-intercept. Kung meron kang b, diba? b is our y-intercept, negative 4. So, therefore, ang ating x is 0. So, ibig sabihin nito, para makuha natin si x-intercept, we will let y is equal to 0. Para makuha natin si y-intercept, we will let x is equal to 0. So, for example, we have here the example. Graph the equation y is equal to x is equal to 2x plus 1. So, this is the same sa ating equation kanina. So, to graph the equation y is equal, is equal to 2x plus 1 using this method, you need to determine the y-intercept and the, and the x-intercept. So, do, to determine the y-intercept, we will let x is equal to 0 para makuha natin si y-intercept. So, sa ating equation na 2x, y is equal to 2x plus 1, if we will let x is equal to 0, so, substitute natin si 0 dito. So, magiging 2 times 0, di ba? Plus 1. So, therefore, y is equal to 1. So, our y-intercept is 1. Di ba? And for our x-intercept, 
to get the value of our x intercept we will let y is equal to 0 diba so our equation is 2 ano y is equal to x plus 1 y is equal to 0 so ang ating y dito ay 0 diba 0 so magiging 0 is equal to 2x plus 1 simplify diba so that that is a substitution method simplify addition property of equality we will add both sides by negative ano uh, add both sides by negative 2x diba para makancel si positive 2 is dito sa kabila and we magiging ganito na po siya negative 2x is equal to 1 because we will add negative 2x sa sa left side sa may 0 so magiging negative 2x is equal to 1 simplify multiplication property of equality multiply both sides diba by negative diba negative 1 over 2 para magiging ganito na po siya okay 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 the result is x is equal to negative 1 half so our x intercept is negative 1 half so our ordered pair is negative 1 half and 0 sa angle si 0 diba we let y is equal to 0 then our x is negative 1 half so we can now graph that one sa ating Cartesian plane so kanina diba sa taas this one the y intercept let x is equal to 0 our y is positive 1 so we have here x is 0 y is positive 1 that is our y intercept then for the x intercept we let y is equal to 0 then our x is negative 1 half this one okay then we can now graph the equation diba? as you can observe uh, pareho po sila ng itsura dito sa taas diba? this one is using two points and this one is using the x and y intercept okay so i hope nagits po yung ibig natin sabihin so we have here the exercise let's try to answer this one answer the following one is graph the linear equation that passes through this one points so just grab this one okay meron po tayong given two points and for number two is using the linear equation f of x is equal to x plus one First is identify its y, uh, x and y intercept. Yung ginawa natin sa taas kanina. Then, graph using the identified x and y intercept. Okay. So, that's it for our lesson 2. Graphing linear function with slope and one point and with slope and y intercept. So, alam natin na yung slope ay the stiffness of the line. Diba? Stiffness of the line. Then, we can solve that one using the formula. Y is equal to rise over run. At saka yung isa, di ba? Y is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. So, graphing a linear function using a slope and a one point. In graphing linear function using a slope and one point, you need to follow these steps. First is plot the given point. Okay? Second, find other point using the slope. Okay? Then third is connect the two points with a line okay so we have the example plot the linear function given the point negative 2 and negative 1 and a slope 3 over 5 okay so first step 1 plot the point okay point p point p is here saan po si point p negative 2 and negative 1 we have here negative 2 yung ating x negative 1 po si y so this is our point p now, determine another point on the graph using the slope. This one, rise over run. So, our um, slope is rise over run. So, our rise is yung ating numerator. Numerator is diba, 3 over 5. So, our numerator is 3. So, this is our rise. Run is 5. So, based on that, dito sa ating graph, meron po tayong rise na 3. So, from point P, rise 3. 3 steps. Diba? 1, 2, 3. 3 that's our rise run is 5 1 2 3 4 5 so now this is our point q so we'll name this one as q so q is saan po siya so ito po siya 3 and positive 2 diba positive 3 is x positive 2 po si y then we can now connect this one point p and point q 
So we can now have the we, uh, we now have the graph of our uh, function, di ba? Given a point and the slope natin. Okay? So using the slope, rise, tsaka ni run. Because we have the slope 3 over 5, our rise is the numerator and our run is the denominator. Okay, so that's it. Then next, we have graphing linear function using slope and y-intercept. So, in graphing a linear function using y-intercept and slope, first is plot the given y-intercept. Second, find the other point using the given slope and connect the two points. Okay, so, we have here the example. Graph a linear function given y-intercept 2 or y-intercept is 2. And our slope is negative 3 and positive, uh, no, negative 4 and over positive 3. Okay, negative 4 over positive 3, our slope. So, our y-intercept is positive 2. Since our y-intercept is positive 2, so therefore our x is 0, diba? If we're going to find y-intercept, dapat we will let x is equal to 0. So, ang, ang paris po nito ay 0. So, 0 po si x, y is 2, positive 2. So, we have here, okay, ito po yung graph natin. This is our y-intercept, positive 2, x is equal to 0. Okay, so for our slope, we have negative 4, ang ating rise, ang ating run is positive 3. So since negative 4 yung ating rise, so we'll count 4 steps pa baba. So 1, 2, 3, 4, this one. Nasa negative 2 po siya. Yung ating y, this one, y. Then, run. Okay, positive 3 going to the right. So, 1, 2, 3. So, this one. The value of x is positive 3. Okay? So, pag negative po yung rise natin, it means pababa po siya. Pag positive, pata pa pataas po siya. Yung run po natin is positive going to right. If ang ating run ay negative, going to left po siya. But in our, in our example, our rise is negative 4 so going down po siya ang ating run is positive 3 so going right po siya so we can now con connect the two points okay so we will name this point is point s and our x is positive 3 and our y is negative 2 then connect po natin sila so this is now our graph using the y-intercept and a slope okay so we have here the um, exercise okay identified and identify the indicated graph of the following the choices are found in the box below write the letter of the correct answer so the graph containing the slope m 2 over 3 and a point negative 3 and positive 1 so just identify this one given po yung graph po natin dito okay second one is the graph containing the slope m negative 3 over 5 and the y-intercept is positive 1. Okay, just identify that one. Okay, so for our lesson number 3, problems involving linear functions. So linear relationships are often used to model real-life situations. Below is an example of a word problem where linear functions are applied. Okay, same also with our linear equation on nakarang lesson po natin. Diba? Problem solving or problems involving linear equations. So we have here the example. Josie works as a crew in a fast food center where she earns 50 pesos per hour. Make a table relates the number of hours that she works, X, and her pay, Y. Write an equation representing this relation, then draw the graph that shows the relationship. So, bisabi nito, si Josie ay natatrabaho po sa bilang crew na isang fast food at ang kanyang sahod ay 50 pesos per hour. Di ba? And then, we will make a table. Okay, ang kanyang hours of work is X. Ang kanyang bayad ay Y. Okay, then we'll make an equation representing this relation and draw the graph. Okay, so we have here the solution. Solution. Okay, so the table shows the number of hours X that Juicy works and her corresponding pay. So since ang ating hours of work is X, so one, X, at ang ating P is Y. ba? Okay. So, kung wala po siyang trabaho, it means, ang kanyang sahod ay zero. ba? So, if she works one hour, this one. So, ang kanyang sahod ay 50 pesos. ba? Kasi 50 pesos per hour. 
If she works 2 hours, ang kanyang sahod ay 100. If she works 3 hours, ang kanyang sahod ay 150. If she works 4 hours, ang kanyang sahod ay 200. If she works 5 hours, ang kanyang sahod is 250. Now, since the values of juices pay y depends, di ba? Kasi ang kanyang sahod ay nagdepende kung ilang oras po siya nagtatrabaho, di ba? Okay. So, depends on the number of hours that she works, x, and she is paid 50 pesos per hour. So, our equation is y is equal to 50 times x. y is our sahod. x is our number of hours. So, kung wala po siyang trabaho, so s or our x is 0. So, therefore, wala po siyang sahod. y is equal to 0. So, if she works 1 hour, so subject natin si 1 sating x, so 50 times 1, the result is 50. So, kanyang sahod is 50. If she works 2 hours, so substitute natin si 2 sa ating x. So, 2 times 50, the result is 100. Diba? And so on. So, we can now graph. Okay? So, we have here the graph. Okay? The graph of the function showing the relationship of number of hours. Diba? Number of hours. Diba? Juicy works and her pay. Okay? Number of hours is x and ang kanyang sahod ay y. Okay, so using the values here sa ating table, lagay natin dito sa ating x, number of hours, sa ating y, ang kanyang sahod. So, we can now graph the function. Okay, so that's for our lesson 3. And we have here the problem. Let's just try to solve this one. Okay, so gaya po nang ginawa natin dito. Okay. Uh, Ganyan po yung gagawin nyo dito sa ating given problems, ating exercise. Okay, so that's it for our module 5. Once again, this is Teacher Koy of Easy Punch Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.